The Boston Bruins defeat the Winnipeg Jets 3-2 to two here at TD Garden on Thursday night. I'm a very festive Connor Ryan of BostonSportsJournal.com here to give you a few takeaways from today's win. And uh, this is a game where it's almost a testament, I think, to the Bruins' uh, high standard of play, their ability to fight back in games that this actually, even in this homestand, which has been marked with a lot of slow starts, extended stretches of lackluster play, uh, the first period on Thursday night against Winnipeg was the first time this entire five game homestand where the Bruins were actually trailing in regulation. Um, when you look at the start of that first period, whether it be maybe a save or two, you want it back from Jeremy Swayman um, lapses in execution, both McAvoy and Grizzly get caught kind of out of position on Mark Shifley's first goal. It just seemed like everything was going wrong for this team uh, in that first period. Uh, really didn't have a good counter to Winnipeg's four checking pressure. Just Everything seemed just slightly off for this team uh, in that game where the way it started off looked like it was going to be a long night for the Bruins. But uh, in what has been, I guess, a recurring trend for this team uh, all season long, you have maybe one good bounce goes your way with, uh, you know, that that bouncing puck that leads to a David Pasternak goal. And the team ran with it from there. I mean, the Bruins really did control play in the second and third period. Um, They held a 30 to four. 30 to 14 edge and shots on goal in the second and third. Um, it wasn't for the play of Connor Hellebuck. This very well could have been a much more lopsided game, but whether it be, you know, Jake DeBrus getting on the board with his 200th career point, uh, Nick Felino breaking through in the third period. And he was the guy that found himself elevated further up the lineup. Uh, you know, Jim Montgomery made that call because he had some pretty impressive shifts, good four checking pressure, all that stuff. Um, to see these guys bounce back once again. And it seems like it's what you've seen all year long for this team where they can just flip a switch. And even in a game where it seemed like so much was going wrong in the first, they still come away with a, uh, you know, a comeback win in regulation, finish the home stand four Oh and one. And it's just, you know, it almost feels like an assembly line at this point, right? Like it's, you try not to get, you know, take this for granted, but it seems like whenever this team is down or they're in a, a lull or what have you, they have enough talent, enough metal, and enough, you know, veteran leadership to flip that switch to, you know, compartmentalize these kind of rough stats or these poor stretches of play. And they can still completely flip the script and, you know, dominate the game for minutes on end. So you look at this game where um, other guys contribute, uh, you know, other than that one blip from McAvoy and Grizzly, I thought the defense is really impressive in this one. Brennan Carlo is a guy that I understand gets, gets knocked quite a bit. And again, he's a stay at home defenseman, gets a lot of D zone stats, not really a guy that has a lengthy highlight reel, right? Because usually he's kind of stuck doing the dirty work. But I bet he was really good in this one. Um, during his 15 minutes of five and five ice time, the Bruins had a 17 to one edge in shots on goal. Um, so I, I think when you look at this game, yes, more guys step in, but it's just encouraging to see maybe guys that people weren't that high on or people were expecting more out of, like a guy like Kahlo. Um, is seems like he's rounding into his own game and you're hoping that, you know, as the season continues on, you see more guys that maybe you want a little bit more of, whether that's Martian getting back from that hip surgery. Um, you look at, you know, a guy like McAvoy is someone that Jim Montgomery said um, still has levels to hit um, and where he's at at his game, Jeremy Swayman, who I think, uh, you know, struggled a little bit there in the first, but had some big saves down the stretch there. When you look at the Bruins and what they need to improve on, I think it has to be more, individual you know focused right now in terms of where they have more to give and you know certain areas of the lineup and I think you're seeing it whether it's Kahlo playing well at the end of this homestand you hope that Swayman who needs to start more as the Bruins try to relieve some of the workload on Linus Olmark um, you hope he can kind of continue to round into form so um, all in all you don't want to say it's a routine win because they, they come back from two goals down against a very good Winnipeg team team that has 20 wins but this Bruin team just keeps on rolling along. So, of course, we'll have more coverage of uh, of this game over at bostonsportsjournal.com. So we'll have our recap column, all that good stuff. And for you guys watching, uh, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Mm-hmm.